Veroni diagrams were discovered as early as 1644 by philosopher René Descartes and are named after the Russian mathematician Georgi Veroni, who defined and studied the general n-dimensional case in 1908. And I have found it quite useful in helping me make a galaxy. Um, it's now only got 20,000 stars, but I had to figure out a way to see it uh, before I put it into a database because I was running into a lot of errors and I couldn't see what was happening. So I made this little short video about what it looks like now and I'll demonstrate what it looks like a bit better in a few minutes. It com doesn't come in as high quality as it was. But it took, uh, this is played at uh, five times speed, but this is me generating the actual galaxy and what it actually looks like. Now, of course, you can add in more segments and once you do create it, I have a script that I'm making available in this post. Uh, where you can generate this yourself, change it however you like, and then go in and observe your galaxy. Now, of course, in this situation, I hadn't got the cool bloom effect that we were seeing earlier, but this is my first attempt here at putting it into a web page. So using WebGL, and uh, but this is before I started using 3JS. So if you go and look at it right here in the video, you can see that um, you can still see all the stars because i generated it beforehand so i'm just importing the actual uh, generate json file so in the github link attached you can generate your own stars verify that they work put them into a web page and then uh, of course i had to give them some bloom effect and you can turn them on and off and i really enjoyed this part so uh, i didn't decrease the bloom effect too much because i like the actual look of the stars the way they were Every single star is attached to a star lane and you could travel from one end to the other along this whole path and uh, it's ready for me to actually put into a database. I just want to increase the amount of stars that are in there. I want to have like, um, I'm hoping to have a million. Um, there's currently, as I said, 20,000. So I'll probably end up running it overnight and um, putting in a larger galaxy. So that's the video I was playing. Um, here is, oh yeah, I, as you can see, I had to read uh, about who Veroni was, because um, who knows who Veroni is. Um, but we're all built on the shoulders of giants and ChatGPT. So here's the galaxy as it is right now. And I have, you have the 3D effect. So it is a two dimensional game, uh, I think. I'm not too sure if I'll change it but uh, you can move up and down. Maybe this should have been a cooler intro. I might actually add in some peril and noise and make the galaxy up and down. Why not? Anyway, yeah, um, sorry, uh, I, I'm mesmerized by the look of it right now myself. So, okay, turning off and on, actual bloom effect. I'm going to add in more features uh, to allow you to see the ships as they're traveling along the star lanes. Uh, there are some areas that I don't particularly like um, here and there, but you can change that in the code by uh, decreasing the length of the star connections and it'll remove any stars that you uh, that it can't reach or are too far away from each other. I also don't like the edges too much. Uh, I intend to either, I think that when it's up to a million stars, it won't matter, uh, but right now it does look a bit janky and sometimes there's a line going across from one end to the other. I will be adding in something where I'll be able to like select and delete and remove it from the JSON and um, then use that JSON file to upload the characteristics that I've in the Galaxy into my online uh, app and anybody can come in and join. I have to figure out some of the, uh, the costs with regards to the um, user interactions, like how many things can I handle in a second. I'm only using a cheap server because uh, it's too costly for to keep on blowing up. But uh, in the meantime, it's a great way to learn and add more things in. And I figured it'd be nice to share the um, code that I've been working on over the weekend. So uh, 
thank you. I had had a great time creating this. So um, I hope you have you some time using it too, in creating it yourself. Bye.